As grand final week continues on AFL.com.au, hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you here at Federation Square, the AFL live site, as we update Wednesday's footy news. Now, one of the big stories of the week has been Brent Guerra at Hawthorne, but come Wednesday, we are not talking about him still being in the team, being in a race to be fit for the biggest day of all, because he has already ruled himself out. We've learned today that he was about 85% right, but he's decided not to push for a place in the Hawks' grand final side. Let's hear from him now. I thought I'd make the call early early in the week and uh, then the boys can concentrate on the game um, and the coaches don't have to worry about who's up for selection and that. So it just wasn't feeling right at the time and, um, yeah, very disappointed, but best, uh, best for the side. Now, both the Hawks and the Swans have a day off today, but we have heard from a couple of Hawthorne greats. Shane Crawford and Peter Knights both believe that this Hawthorne side is better than the side that won in 2008. I think the way they team together, uh, certainly in the second half of the season, is the best I've ever seen them. So from that point of view, as long as they can sort of make the team the number one focus on Saturday, I'm sure that they can get out and play really well. Um, on the weekend was a bit of a hiccup, but they found a way to win, and that's what good sides do. This side stacks up a little better than 2008 for mine. We're certainly a little more experienced, and, and I think we're a little bit more professional in what is required. One man who was an integral part of that 2008 triumph is Stuart Jew, but these days he plies his trade as an assistant to John Longmire and is well aware of what the Swans will face on Saturday. It's funny how the, the world works, but um, obviously, you know, they've been the best side all, all year and probably, uh, you know, would have thought after 08 that they would have played another grand final in the near future, so here it is for them. I still speak to a few, but um, phone's gone quiet in the last last seven days so um no all business for us and then uh you know we'll, we'll talk about it after so hopefully um we're on the right side now it's always interesting to hear from league chief executive andrew dimitriou and today we had the opportunity to sit down with the league boss our full interview tomorrow here on afl.com.au for you but something important from it that we want to bring you right now and that's andrew's response to the disturbing reports out of india about share and footies being made using child labor now the company has stopped that process but this is the reaction of the league boss. As soon as we heard about it, we found it completely abhorrent. It's, it goes against everything that we stand for in this code, in this game. We've taken it up with Sharon. They've, they've acted appropriately and swiftly. Then today they've even recalled all their balls. Um, you can't have that. You can't have that in this day and age. Now to some news out of the Gold Coast. And Matthew Primus has pipped Brett Ratton for the Suns' vacant midfield assistant coach's job. Oh, we had some obviously some serious chats with with Rats. Uh, he, he was he was uh, exceptional as well uh, as you'd expect with a, a coach that's coached five years and had a winning percentage of fifty percent or over fifty percent. So uh, yeah, he was uh, highly regarded. And as I said, the probably thing that just tipped it in Matty's favour was the fact he's he's a big boy, knows how to ruck, was an aggressive ruck himself, uh, and I'm sure he can pass on that knowledge to our uh, fleet of young rucks. All right, there's a lot going on down here at Federation Square. Tim Rogers is performing at the moment, and you never know who you're going to run into. A couple of the grand final umpires, Brett Rosebery, his fifth grand final. And Chelsea Roffey, of course, the first woman to umpire in a grand final in between the goals. How are you going, Brett? Good, man. What are you doing down here? I'm here with the sponsors, OPSM. Uh, they've got a giant ball. They're making out T-shirts. And all the footy fans can come down on Friday and they're going to rip down the ball and everyone gets a free T-shirt. So uh, here with OPSM. OPSM, big sponsors of the umpires. Chelsea, you must be. Are you nervous or excited? haven't really had much of a chance to get uh, too nervous. I've been absolutely overwhelmed. Um, I guess there's been a fair bit of interest in the fact that I am a woman uh, umpiring in a grand final. So I'm sure the next few days are going to be um, just a chance for me to sit back and relax and probably let the butterflies start. We'll, well see how we go. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks so much for joining us. And, of course, click back soon for more of the very latest grand final news here on afl.com.au.